what is going on YouTube? One only XM here. Ah, oh, shit, I did it wrong. What is up, my peeps? My peeps, my marshmallowy friends, my Cadbury eggs. I am Hef520. No, I'm not. I'm not. Obviously, Dad is up there, though. But he, uh, he gave me permission to do this intro. <laughs> but anyways, you can see me riding with my lady and my man, Hef. And heartbreaking at a stoplight. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh boy, so today we're going up Mount Lemon. Got this awesome group of bikes behind me. Anyways, today's video while I go on this lovely Sunday morning ride with my favorite 520 crew is the side of posting and putting yourself out on the internet that no one really talks about because there is something that happens when you actually pull yourself interesting a scooter waved <laughs> there's something that happens when you put yourself out on the internet that uh, I think a lot of people are not really prepared for and I kind of want to I kind of want to talk about that kind of popped in my head with different things that I watch on YouTube and, and social media that you know even I I make assumptions and judgments on and something most people don't aren't aware of is the judgment that others will give you for your opinion and you know not all of it is terrible some of it's really good you the community as a whole is pretty good so for the most part you're going to get really good feedback uh, however there is a dark side to social media there are people that sole purpose in life is to talk shit to you and to try to disprove everything you say now when you put stuff out there you want to make sure your opinions aren't based solely on that just your opinion you want to make sure there's fact and experience you know surrounding that opinion that's kind of you know what I do is a lot of my stuff a lot of what I say is based around what I've experienced what I've been taught from professionals and I try to convey that to you because not everyone has the opportunity to have a professional coach in one realm or another or to have professional experience themselves in a certain area and when people like to do YouTube, they sort of they sort of forget about the fact that you know you're putting yourself out there for millions to see, and while you are just this little peon in the big sea of YouTube, people will still find you. People will still say stuff to you. People will still comment on you, and you want to make sure what you're saying isn't 100% conjecture something that isn't you know uh, non-factual in a sense you know the, the beautiful thing about YouTube is you can put your own experiences out there because not everyone experiences this each thing the same way so that's the good part about it but what I, I don't feel people understand when they start putting videos out there I start posting on Instagram and stuff like that is there's some mean people out there that just want to take you down and emotionally and, and I want to say verbally but textually you know make you uncredible uh, destroy credibility and stuff like that and that's it's a terrible thing but when you start a channel, you really want to pay attention to what you're putting out there and that what you're saying isn't bullshit. It, it is factually strong and that you can back it up with some really good experience. I'm turning around and looking because we have like 16 bikes and we just went through a light so I want to make sure that they're all there so 
well this is a relatively short video I might do another one attached to it but when starting out on YouTube and you know I'm not a big channel by any means I have eight, a little over 800 subs so it's just really just a little a little drop in a sea of moto vloggers but I, I've gotten negative comments I mean I did a video and my during my walk around of a motorcycle it uh my camera decided to record you know vertically so I tried to do what I could to make it look cool but I got someone saying that I use a, a cheap phone camera to do this and, and uh, I was like you know why don't you join me for some more phone crappy quality adventures because you know why why say that you know you can watch the rest of the video and realize it's in 4k it is actually shot decently but it, it's stuff like that you know you're going to get criticized and while i hope most of it is constructive it just isn't most people just say it sucks and that's all they'll say that's, that type of stuff's like eh, whatever if someone actually gives you good feedback don't be insulted by it. Don't take it personally. Maybe try what they suggest. You know, it's hard for people to hear constructive criticism. It's hard to hear what you do wrong. However, in this world, in this platform, in order to grow and change and evolve, you kind of have to listen to it. You got to see what people are saying negatively about you and maybe tweak what you do. You know, it's, it's not a bad thing. So that's my little video. Hope you like it. If you did, hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping if you liked it, you hit the like button, obviously. Yeah, if you disliked it, well, subscribe anyways. Maybe there's something you do like. Or if there's nothing you like, to subscribe and just keep getting notifications about the videos you don't like and comment hateful, mean, spiteful things and I'll respond with a smile on my face. Alright, y'all have a good one. Later.